Okay team, there's some questions about campaign KPIs which uh, came about yesterday so I'm here to explain a bit more about that so we'll start off by clicking on the campaigns tab right here then we press go on all active campaigns this year it'll show you a list of all the campaigns and I think the best example is to go through MTS's uh, program here starting from the AmCham HR conference all the way down through here so we'll pick one I think I'll start off by just clicking on the project approach so on this parent campaign now as uh, if you just gaze your eyes in this section here now this section here actually is applicable for PID level campaigns now PID level campaigns if you open up your PIDs which is approved you'll see that this, the approach table has you know has you know each approach A, B, C, D, E or F or whatever it is at each of those lines right will have KPIs which is your promo, your awareness, your mind share, your opportunities and sales and business generated there's value and also quantity so all this ha what, what you have here in the campaign screen is just a copy and paste of that information so this section here for a parent level campaign is a PID level campaign and this information actually comes from the PID okay now let me just go back to this campaign screen and uh, click on this uh, on this link and open that up see as you can see it points to the project approach um, uh, camp, uh, PID level campaign which we saw earlier now this here actually is an activity or project level uh, campaign uh, what MTS has done here in this case is also included some high-level KPIs. In this case, he's saying that he'll be targeting 150 accounts through this MCHAM uh, HR program and generate 2.273 um, billion ringgit worth of promo value, right? Which means he'll touch 150 accounts and those accounts, their TABB adds up to 2.2 billion. Fairly straightforward stuff. Of course, he has other activity level targets because this is this is an activity level KPI. So he's looking at you know 150 in terms of target activities value. This probably uh, can be updated. Then B2Bs and so on and so forth. All right. So you would use different types of different campaigns, and you will have to agree with your department head on how you structure your activity level or project level campaigns and how they contribute to the overall KPI of the PID level campaigns. I also want to add that you got to make sure for activity level campaigns yet you, that you, you do put in the project uh, the parent campaign information here so that you can see how it all links right and likewise for PID level campaigns you got to make sure this one is blank so you know that which one's PID level and which one's uh, project level okay so you go back to the campaign screen again uh, the overall campaigns list by looking at this entry here I can see what MTS has done is that you know we can see that this is the parent or PID level campaign and clearly see here is a activity or project level campaign it's a good example I think the rest have to do a similar thing uh, also so if any questions just go ahead and speak to your boss I'm sure they know how to do it or if you can't find them call me alright good luck and have fun